Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 5th of September 2018 and the time has just gone 12.15 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is the, ja is the DAX, the Jar Market. And the reason why, why I want to talk about the Jar Market today is effectively because the, the, the DAX dropped below uh, a, a fairly significant area of support and has also managed to actually trade down to a level not seen since early April. So we are talking a market reaching a five month low, which really gives you an indication of actually how negative uh, sentiment is on the Jura market. If you take a look at the price action in recent months, what we can see here is that uh, after the, the, the June rally, the market traded lower and it was the first occasion where it respected this area here of in around 12,100. The market pushed higher here in July, but notice how the July high got nowhere near the June high. Market push lower yet again, and once again respected the, the, the support in around the 12,100 area, and then pushed higher again in August. But once again, the August high was below the July the July high, and then again the market drifted lower once again. But I said instead of actually supporting the uh, instead of actually respecting rather the support area in around the 12,100 area, the market actually managed to break below it. So we've now seen two lower highs and actually now a lower low. And as I mentioned at the start of the video. We're now, I bet we traded this morning at levels not seen since early, uh, early, um, early, apologies, early April. So we are talking, you know, multi-month low, so the sentiment is quite weak. It's also worth pointing out how, how underperforming the, the DAX is in comparison with the US markets. This year is a German market in, in late August. It's nowhere near the, Ju the July high, which is, no which is nowhere near the May, which is nowhere near the June high, which is nowhere near the all-time high. Meanwhile, over in the, over in the U.S., the S&P 500 uh, at the back end of August was at all-time highs, and the Nasdaq were at all-time highs. So, a really good indication of how negative sentiment is uh, in Germany and how underperforming the German market is in comparison with some of the U.S. indices. Now, it's also worth pointing out that there's quite considerable trade tensions between the U.S. and the EU. Uh, a number of months ago, the US and the EU both pledged to pry and actually cut down the trade barriers between both sides. A few days ago, President Trump actually is looking to kind of roll back on that. Uh, and, and President Trump knows full well the European car manufacturing sector and particularly the German car manufacturing sector um, is, is a way of actually applying pressure to Brussels. So if you are going to trade the DAX, please keep an eye out for uh, President Trump's tweets and the relationship between Brussels and Washington, D.C. Now, if we do manage to continue to push lower on the German market, uh, the next layer to keep an eye out for will be 12,000 on the DAX. Uh, it's a big psychological number, and it's an area I'm sure some traders will be, will be keeping an eye out on. If you go south of 12,000, an area to keep an eye out for will be, will be in around here, uh, at levels not seen since April, in around the 11,800 region. If you go south of that, then keep an eye out for this area here, just shy of 11,700, in around 11,692. If we do see any bounce backs uh, in the DAX, in an area of potential resistance could be this blue line here, the 50 day moving average, which comes into play just shy of 12,500. And if we go beyond that, uh, the late August high of just shy of 12,600, um, 12,597, there thereabouts. And if we go beyond that, in order to keep an eye for will be this red line here. The 200 moving average, which comes into play at 12,678. And notice how it actually acted as both resistance and also a support uh, in recent months. And if a metric has acted as both support and or resistance in recent months, it makes it all the more likely that it will act as support and or resistance in the near term. Uh, in relation to, to the to, to the um, to the to the video itself and, and the other video content that we here at CMC Markets have been producing, if you have any feedback, feel free to leave a comment or any positive or negative, any feedback at all on Google reviews. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.